Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this interesting problem. a minus 1 over a equals to b. And if b minus 1 over b equal to c, and c minus 1 over c equals to a, then we are going to find the value of 1 over a times b plus 1 over b times c plus 1 over c times a. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this very first equation. And here I have copied it down. And likewise, let's focus on these equations as well. And here I have copied them as well. And now let's go ahead and add all these three equations. If we add them, a plus b plus c, I'm going to write down a plus b plus c, likewise negative 1 over a minus 1 over b minus 1 over c on the left hand side equals 2 on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and add all these things up. b plus c plus a. And now we can see this A cancel with this A, this B cancels with this B, and this cancel with the, this C. So we ended up with negative 1 over A minus 1 over B minus 1 over C equal to 0. Let's remove this negative sign. Let me go ahead and multiply by negative sign across the board with each and every term. So negative times negative is going to become positive 1 over A and this become positive 1 over B plus 1 over C equal to 0. And now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, equations once again. And here I have copied down all these equations. And now let's go ahead and take the square of all these equations on both sides. Square of this sign on, on side on this left hand side and this square on the right hand side. Likewise, this square equal to c square. Likewise, this uh, square equal to a square. And now let's go ahead and add all these equations. So on the left hand side is going to be a minus 1 over a whole square plus b minus 1 over b whole square plus c minus 1 over c whole square equals to on the right hand side this is going to be b square plus c square plus a square. And now let's go ahead and expand all these binomials by using this well-known formula a minus b square. So let's go ahead and do that thing. So that's going to be a square minus 2 times a times 1 over a and then plus 1 over a square likewise plus b square minus 2 times b times 1 over b and then plus 1 over b square plus c square minus 2 times c times 1 over c plus 1 over c square equals to on the right hand side I can write b square plus c square plus a square and now we can see that this a square and a square is gone this b square b square is gone this c square and c square is gone and here we can see this a and this 1 over a is uh, gone as well b and this 1 over b is gone this c and 1 over c is gone as well so we simply ended up with the negative 2 plus 1 over a square minus 2 plus 1 over b square minus 2 plus 1 over c square equals to 
zero. Now in this next step, this negative two, this negative two, and this negative two, if we combine them, we can get negative six. And let's go ahead and move this negative six on the right hand side. So therefore, we are going to get one over a square plus one over b square plus one over c square. When we move this negative six on the other side, this is going to become a positive six. And now let me go ahead and call this equation as our equation two. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this equation one. And here I have copied down this equation one. Let's go ahead and square on both sides. I'm going to take the square on this side, left hand side, and this square on the right hand side as well. Now let's go ahead and expand this left hand side trinomial by using this well known formula a plus b plus c square. So this could be written as 1 over a square plus 1 over b square plus 1 over c square plus 2 times 1 over a times 1 over b plus 2 times 1 over b times 1 over c plus 2 times 1 over c times 1 over a equal to 0 square on the right hand side becomes 0. And now we can see that this part 1 over a square plus 1 over b square plus 1 over c square is equal to 6 from our equation 2. So I'm going to replace this one by 6. And on this one over here, these terms, we can see that 2 is in common. So we can factor that one out as well. So this could be written as 6 plus 2 two times this is going to become 1 over a b plus 1 over b c plus 1 over c a equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and subtract 6 from both sides. So this 6 and negative 6 is gone. So we ended up with 2 times 1 over a b plus 1 over b c plus uh, 1 over c a turns out to be negative 6. And finally, let's divide both sides by 2 over here, 2 as well. And here this 2 and 2 is gone. So we ended up with 1 over a b plus 1 over b c plus 1 over c a turns out to be negative 3 and that's our answer. So thus 1 over AB plus 1 over BC plus 1 over CA turns out to be negative 3. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.